Hey everyone, so today we're at my, my personal shop. I've got four of these big toolboxes that came in for repair. They're aluminum diamond plate. Um, they've been beat up from a construction company. A couple of them got actually dropped off a truck on the highway. So we've got some big cracks and big splits like this one. Um, guy brought them up to me to repair, fill in some of these holes. We're gonna put them on a different truck. So today we're gonna be running the 141 SI with a spool gun. So sub thousand dollar setup. I've got four of these boxes. I'll have about four and a half, five hours in them. $500 payday. The setup will more than uh, halfway pay for itself on this one job. So let's get back into the shop. I've got one on the table. Let's get started. Running 17 volts, 344 inches per minute wire speed. I'm a little lower on my volts and a little high on my wire speed than what we'd prop, you know, typically see. Normally with spool gunning or MIG and aluminum, you want to be in spray mode. Uh, with this with these boxes they're so dirty they're corroded um, we tried really spraying on some of them and it just was blowing out real bad so we're going to run a little bit colder kind of on the borderline of short circuit for these repairs they don't need to be structural they're really just wanting to seal these up to keep water from getting in them so we found these settings are working pretty good on this eighth inch diamond plate so we're gonna maybe not the most ideal settings typically but this is working for what we're doing all right, so one of the things we're dealing with this material, you can see this is where the, this box was mounted up underneath like a flatbed or like a dump bed. Um, and this material, it's super corroded. Uh, Midwest winters here, we, you know, we put down a lot of salt. So this salt has sat on this material. You can even see some of the, uh, the corrosion here from the salt. So this material is super thin. It's super corroded in some of these spots. So it's, I mean, it's really brittle too. You see I'm just tearing this stuff away. So not expecting this weld to be the prettiest. And the whole goal of this, we'll actually end up probably putting a plate over this, um, like a patch and welding around the patch. That way these guys can remount these boxes and have a nice you know, new piece of material to mount it to. So not expecting these welds to be super pretty, basically just getting them to where they're back in service, they're watertight and they can remount them uh, safely and securely. So now that we know what we're dealing with, Let's see how bad it is. We just went through and we wired wheeled all of our cracks, cleaned them up a little bit. You did notice on the video, I was drilling out the ends of the cracks. What that does is it terminates that crack. So when we go back to weld it up, that crack has a spot to end. Um, and that really keeps it from propagating any further down that joint. So we've got it cleaned up. We've got it all wire wheeled. We've kind of beat it back into place. Uh, we've got it tacked. So now we're uh, ready to, to weld them up. Um, as expected, yeah, this material, whoo, she's pretty bad. <laughs> this is some pretty, pretty nasty aluminum. This is about worst case scenario, um, about as bad as it gets. Uh, like I said, this is, uh, this material has been caked in road salt, Midwestern winters. Yeah, this is pretty nasty. I thought we'd be able to get a decent run, but yeah, we're, it's just blowing away from me. It's super corroded. Um, you can kind of see that the, the puddle opens up on me. And so running the spool gun, we can still kind of kind of hit the trigger back off, hit the trigger back off, kind of stitch it in a little bit um, to get some of these bigger uh, corroded areas to fill in. Again, we're not doing this as a structural weld or something like that. This is just to get these things watertight and get them back into service. So we're not expecting you know perfection here, but we're just trying to get them to seal up. So little stitch action here and there, a little weave back and forth to fill in these, uh, these wider gaps. And once we get it done, We'll show you, it's pretty nasty, but we're gonna grind it down, smooth it back out and it'll look nice and pretty. All right, so here we are with the finished weld. Like I said, it's not pretty. This is some really nasty corroded aluminum. Some of the, uh, other than some small block Chevy heads I did that have been ran in the ocean for 15, 20 years, this is some of the worst aluminum I've welded. So again, nothing super pretty here. I mean, this is even, this is pretty ugly down here, but we got enough material in here that we can take a, a flap disc, we can smooth this out, and we can make it look, not new, but we can make it look pretty decent. And that's all we were trying to do here, is seal this up um, to where it's watertight. We can, fall, you know, we can finish it back down a little bit, clean it up some, so it doesn't look as, uh, as nasty, but we did the job. And you trolls out there, you come here and try welding this stuff. I don't even want to hear it. Uh-uh not hearing it. So here we are back with this finished weld. Uh, we ground it down a little bit, clean it up some. I said it was pretty corroded, nasty material. We weren't expecting, you know, 
super stellar TIG quality results on this with how bad it was. But about two, three minutes with a flap disc, you know, it's super presentable. It looks almost as good as new. And it's gonna look really good up underneath the flatbed of a truck where no one's gonna see it again. So a little bit of extra work. So this is some pretty corroded material, but I'm satisfied. We're running this MTS 141 off a 120 volt, 20 amp, undedicated breaker. So I've got lights, I've got some other stuff running, a little space heater running off this, uh, this same breaker. So this little machine's great. Pretty much any generator uh, is gonna put out you know, 20 or 30 amp, you know, 120 volt. So this machine's a really versatile, super handy machine to have around the shop, in your race trailer, um, doing field work. Great little stick welder, great little MIG welder, great little TIG welder.